March 30th, 1984, right? Yeah. Okay. And you were going to tell me about this uh, yeah. otter. Oh, yeah. Uh, otter that you got in, uh, yeah. in a mink trap. Yeah. <laughs> Number one mink trap? Yeah. Okay. That, I'm going to, here, I'll let you hold this, man. So what what happened with that? You were trapping for mink. Yeah, I caught an otter by mistake. <laughs> yeah, and you, you you set the trap. How did you set the trap? How did you have it? Just an ordinary mink set. With bait? Yeah. There was bait. What did you use? Meat. Meat? Yeah. Beef? Yeah. Beef. Oh boy. Beef or deer meat, one of the. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would you make a little hollow? I have to build a, I generally used to, in, around by the creeks, there was a place enough to put your trapping underneath, uh -huh. overhanging. Oh, I see. Yeah. And, get in that way. And, and then where did you tie the trap down? Just to a bush. Uh-huh. With a piece of wire? Yeah. That was the mistake for the otter, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, did he stay there long, or when he put his foot in there, what did he do? I don't know. Yeah. He was quite a ways. He was about half a mile from where he got caught. Yeah, yeah. And he was still going, huh? Yeah. He was heading out of the country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There used to be not a lot of otter around there. Well, that's why they call it Otter Valley. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Did you ever see a family of otters playing, you know, the mother and the father and the little ones? No, no. I've seen uh, mink play. Yeah. And what do they do? Well, they just dive around in the water. Chase each other? Yeah. Yeah. I saw these otters playing one time, and they looked like they were having fun. They would scoot down the bank and slide down the mud. Yeah. And they, they made a shoot, just like a little... Yeah. A uh, little um, toboggan run or something, yeah. and down that hill they'd go, and then they'd go up up to the top again, and down they'd go, and up and down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, how did you catch that otter? Did you have to go and shoot him then? Or? Yeah. Because I had a twenty-two with me, I figured it. He'd probably hang out some place in the bush. Mm-hmm. And sure enough, he did, huh? Yeah. yeah. What did the fur trapper? Uh, Earned for that one. How much did you get for that? I think thirty-six dollars. Yeah. In nineteen. Oh. Nineteen forty. Forty-five. Before then. Before then, in the thirties. Mm -hmm. That was a good price then, huh? Yeah. More than anything else. Yeah. The otter was more valuable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What would it, what would you expect to catch in a year on your trap line if you had say. Uh, Oh, uh, how many traps would you have out? Well, I don't know. I just trapped around on the ranches, had two, three traps out. Just two or three? Oh. Yeah. And you check them in between chores and stuff? Yeah. So you didn't really make a whole lot of money trapping? No, no. Yeah. It was the cattle that gave you your money. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Well, I'll bet you that otter was darn close to what you would have got for a cow then. It was, yeah. Yeah. What would you get for a cow? Oh, fifty dollars. Yeah, and you got thirty-six for the otter. Yeah, and you didn't have to clean up after it, no. nor go hand, no, or none of that stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, I miss that kind of life very much. I would have enjoyed it too myself. Yeah. I didn't grow up that way either. No, well, the thing of it was, see, but. I was a kid, I went to school, I had to ride five miles a day. Five miles to school and five miles back. Mm -hmm. And winter time it was... Murder, huh? It was murder. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good thing you were sitting on a warm horse, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, kids come along and I was going to have them go through that, so we went out of Vancouver. Oh, yeah. 
But uh, you know, they might not have. Uh, they might not have minded it too much. You never can tell. You enjoyed that life. Yeah, but I was about 10, 11 years old when I started school. Oh, oh, and they were just five. Yeah. Four and five, yeah. 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 You would have had to drive them to school, eh? They couldn't take the horse. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever go back there? After yeah. you sold the ranch? Did yeah. You, did you go back to it? Yeah. Did you sell the ranch or just let yeah. somebody else? Sure. Did. Yeah. Would you mind saying how much of a land you had? Or how much? Uh, 320 acres. Oh, you had two quarters. Yeah. 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 And your dad homesteaded those. Yeah. Did your mom homestead 160 and your dad homestead 160? Is that how it went? Or? No, dad stayed 320. Oh, they gave him two quarters. Yeah. Yeah. What could you buy a quarter of land for in your time, you know, when you were a... A quarter of what? Of land? You know, a, a quarter section like that? How, how much would a quarter section of land like that up there on the in the valley cost then? Oh, about 2000 2000 yeah. Do you know what it would cost now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 250000 Yeah. Two hundred fifty thousand now, yeah. Sure, one hundred sixty acres in that in that beautiful country down there, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we got a couple of times this summer. Mm -hmm. What impressed you most? What did you notice the most? Well, the dilapidation of lots of the buildings. Yeah, they're falling down, right? Yeah. yeah, the old log buildings. Yeah, I uh, found thirty by no twenty by forty. Mm-hmm. Hey, by mm-hmm. And I showed it to the lad to fall. No one on the side. Not done yet. And pushed her over. Pushed her over. Yeah. That's. That's hard to do uh, to see when you built when yeah, you yeah. put all your sweat and blood and tears into that. Yeah. yeah. Well, one time my father went down to Headley to work with him. We were just starting up then. It was in nineteen one. Mm -hmm. Nineteen two. And uh, see, as soon as I get a place, he says, I'll turn it up for you. Just come down. No. This was in the fall of the year, quite late. And uh, he went down and started in the snow. Snowed about a foot or so. And our neighbors came down and said, Come on, get yourself ready. We're going to run and quit for a dance. Mm -hmm. So my mother and I, we all got ready and came down with him. We got a drive. And it took him all the next day to get back up as far as I was I think you told me about that, that snowstorm. Yeah. And then the people that were beyond you had to go another four hours or so to go two miles or something yeah. like that? So what was their name? Thins. Thins, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. And I believe you told me about that, those storms and how hard it was to get around them. Yeah. What was the road from Princeton to Tulamine like in those days? through the bluffs and all that? Oh. It was passable? Passable, yeah. Yeah. Did anybody ever go over the edge when they were driving along it? I suppose the horses were too smart. They didn't go over like cars. No, they didn't. <laughs> That's uh, the advantage of a horse. The uh, stage went over on time. It did? Yeah. Did anybody get hurt? No, nothing serious. But uh, the two leaders, the two knows where they the other side of the lake, swam across. They <laughs> did? In harness? Were they still all harnessed up? Yeah. No kid. So they had to go around the lake to pick up their horses and then drive them around back? Yeah. 
<laughs> the healers stayed with the old stage, huh? Yeah. But the leaders, they took off. They took off, yeah. <laughs> Were you ever on a horse that ran away? Took off? Spooked? I didn't. Were you? Yeah. Just stay with him, though. That's the only thing you can do. Yeah? It's no time to get off. Good, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, would you grab the mane? Or the saddle horn? Or whatever, huh? No, just sit in your saddle side. Yeah? Stay with him. Yeah. Show him who's boss, huh? Yeah. Kick him in the ribs? Or didn't you do that? No. You just let them run themselves let down. Them run themselves down. Yeah. I don't know. I was on a buckboard one time, you know? Yeah. And I had a team of two horses and a bunch of kids, and the buckboard took off. The, I mean, the, the horses took off for the barn. They wanted to eat or something. And I was a, a green driver, okay? And they took us over a recently plowed field. <laughs> thump, 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 thump. And the kids were in the back hooping it up saying, Yay, faster, <laughs> faster, faster. And I'm sitting there just as white as a sheet thinking I'm going to kill some kids, you know? <laughs> no, I had a, a saddle horse one time in Rome. He was a beautiful horse. But, uh, he uh, he couldn't slow down, and uh, after a meeting with a neighbor of ours, coming home, this horse of mine, he wanted to go, bound to go, so I said to the fellow, I said, I'm going to go, I said, if he wants to go, I'm going to let him go. So he went for four miles. Flat out. Huh? Flat out. He was in a lather when he got through, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And if you do that the next day again, if you had a chance to. <laughs> what was his name? Roni. Roni. Oh, yeah. A spirited horse, huh? Yeah. What kind? What what uh, breed? Just plain horse. Just plain standard horse, huh? Yeah. Your average run-of-the-mill cayuse, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was your favorite kind of horse that, that you ever saw? Or what what uh, horse would you say? Well, I would say a Percheron. Percheron, yeah. yeah. Aren't they beautiful though? Yeah. And gentle? Yeah. Now they're easy handled. Yeah, yeah. I don't like a Clyde. Why? Are they more uh, uppity? Or what's wrong with I the Clyde? Don't know. Too long a leg is too soon. Oh, yeah. The Persian was just right. Yeah. You had those, obviously, huh? Did yeah. you have a pair of those? Yeah. Yeah. They were about 1,600 pounds each. Yeah, yeah. You could do a lot of work with that. Mm -hmm. Did you ever ride them? Oh, yes. That must have been like being on the top of a locomotive, huh? <laughs> Well, they were slow. They didn't worry any. Then Cayuses and the Wild Bronx and boy, you had a ride. <laughs> I had one. It was a, yeah, uh, he came down from the Caribou. And uh, he shook his head that. Up and down, yeah, yes. He was, he was away. Yeah. If you went this way. If you, if you if you head the other way, you had a ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You never hurt yourself with horses, did you? No. Yeah. Well, I got my feet tamped on a couple of times. Uh. But you started watching where you put them then after that. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Would a Persian, what would happen if a Persian stu stood on your foot? Yeah, I don't know. Break it, maybe, huh? Yeah. yeah. But I guess around those corrals, the ground is soft. Yeah. That saves yeah. you. Yeah. You know? yeah. 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 
What did you tell me you were going to do to those crows this morning? What they happened? They were going to shoot them. What were they doing? They were just standing at 4 o'clock in the morning and crawling away. Yeah? Right out your window here? Right, right out in front of you. Yeah. Yes. I've been tempted to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of those. But I found crows when I was a kid. I found them very, very intelligent. If you had a gun, they seemed to know what a gun was all about. Mm -hmm. But if you didn't have a gun, you could walk right up to them. Ever notice that? No. Maybe that's because I grew up in a more settled area. Yeah. You know, I read an article one time down in the States. There were so many crows, and they were cleaning up his grain where he sold it. And uh, they roosted in a tree at night time. So he took a full of can, filled it full of the rock and gravel, mm -hmm. and put a stick of dynamite in it and pushed it up and set it up when they were in. Yeah. And Blew the top of the tree off. Huh? <laughs> Blew the tree off. You felt like doing that this morning, and they woke you up at four o'clock, huh? Yeah. Did you have a dog when you were a kid? Do you remember anything about them that would be interesting, like uh, what they would do or what they were like? Well, the first one they had, they had was uh, in that book for German. And uh, the Indian woman came down and she wanted some butter and stuff and he didn't dare leave her in the house alone. So Why is that? She steal your mind. Oh no. Yeah. And uh, so my mother called the dog in and told him and young and passed out. I mean what? Every time this old Indian woman tried to get up, I dog would get up and blow at her. <laughs> She'd sit down again. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and I had an old black dog. Oh, he was cross and something. I don't know what it was. But he was a very good dog. What stands out about him that you remember that he did? Bear. Bear? Oh, yeah. He was a great bear dog. Yeah. He'd chase the bears away. Yeah. Well, he'd stay with the bears and he got them treed. Oh, yeah? And then you'd come along and give him a, yeah. a shot, huh? Yeah. Okay. Did you have any other dogs that stood out in your memory of, of uh, you must have had, what would a dog live to out there in the, in the woods, uh, five, ten years? Or uh, did they have accidents or? Oh, they had accidents too. And one dog was 17 when he died. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he had uh, death. And didn't know where he was going, how to get out on the road and the car was running. So uh, I wasn't home and the neighbor came down to go out and shot him. Yeah. Easier for the neighbor to do. Yeah. More more like one of the family, isn't it? You yeah. It'd be hard for the family to do. Yeah. yeah. And then the last, the last dog we had, uh, and about we came down to Princeton and we had no dog wanted a dog so she got it a little pup. Uh huh. And, and that thing grew to be a big, big dog. Yeah. And if you go around the place you could do anything but don't try to enter the house when there was nobody around. She <laughs> She'd be right on top of you, huh? Yeah. What kind was she? You she crossed between the police and uh, Golden Lab. 
Oh, that would be a good big dog, yeah. 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 Did, uh, did she like to hunt? Did that one hunt for you? Did you ever take her out after ducks? Yeah. Golden Lab, you know, they're good duck dogs. Yeah. 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 No, no. She, she did ducks on the wing. And she fell in the water. She out there and bring me in for you. Right now, yeah. 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 We had a golden lab in the neighborhood when I was a kid, and it would hunt grouse. It would go out and get willow grouse yeah. by itself. Can you imagine that? Go out in the woods and catch them uh, and bring them back alive. Yeah. <laughs> it had a tender mouth, you know? Yeah. You just hold the bird and bring it back and hand it to you, it, and it'd be alive. What a hunter. <laughs> This uh, this old dog that I speak of, that he couldn't, uh, he didn't dare go in near the house when there was nobody around. Uh, she had a pup. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, when she had a batch of them, we'd give them away, and we saved one. Uh -huh. And any time anything would come around, she'd go out after it, and the pup would follow her. Yeah. She'd turn around and she'd say, "Pup, I follow." She didn't want it to get in trouble, huh? No. Yeah? <laughs> what was her name? Uh, Cleo. Cleo. Cleopatra. Yeah. <laughs> Golden Cleopatra. What color was she? She was uh, kind of a brownish color. Oh, yeah. Huh. And she was a great bear dog. She was also, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did she ever tangle with a skunk? Yeah. <laughs> Does that bring back any memories? Well, I thought I was going to lose it. Really? It was that bad? Yeah. She got it right square in the face and yeah. her eyes. Yeah. And we had a little stream running down the, past the house. And uh, we'd go out there and stick her face in the water. Yeah, yeah. That uh, burn's terrible. Yeah. That, uh, a skunk, a dead skunk, is an awful smell. You aren't just whistling. I ran over one once, and it sprayed the underside of the car. <laughs> well, I'll tell you a little story. I went up to our neighbors, my mother and I, and we, uh, they had a boy about a year or two older than me. And uh, we came out of the barn, the barn was like here, and we went up to the, over to the house, and the chicken house was here. In between? In between. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and, uh, we come from the barn and this young fellow, an Englishman, and he said, oh, he said, what a beautiful animal. <laughs> and the skunk ran into the chicken house and so we said, go get him and slam the door on him. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful animal, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what happened to him? You know, he had to go get cleaned up. And Burning clothes. <laughs> the beautiful animal backfired in more ways than one, <laughs> <white>, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah, did she say supper time already? Yeah. No, dinner time. We better roll you down there, huh? All right. Okay? We'll just turn this off. I'll catch you another time for the rest. Yeah. We're on the air. It's May 1st. Yeah. Okay. The Englishman, he was a remittance man. Oh, yeah. And, uh, he was married to a... Well, she was part Indian. He had the young fellow out from the old country. He was going to run into ranch. 
ranch, yeah. <laughs> so they had a boy, he was a little older than me, about a year old. And we'd been out to the barn and we were coming back. And like the barn was here, uh -huh. the house over here, and then there was a chicken house here in between. Yeah. And this, we got there, this Englishman come, and uh, the skunk was there. The skunk ran into the chicken house. Mm -hmm. And he slammed the door on him. <laughs> and the chicken house was a skunk. God, when he came out, he stunk. Oh, I'll bet. Was he the fellow that said, oh, what a beautiful animal? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was the one that said, what a beautiful animal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, another time, we were on the ranch and uh, I heard the section speeder go up and stopped. And, uh, and they started to harm me. So I grabbed my gun and I went down and I said, what's the matter? I said, no, he said, you got him up a tree, you got him up a tree. I let the dog try to uh, treat the bear. Mm -hmm. And instead of that, the bear was running around wild and it was wounded, of course. And this uh, fellow, the dog was after him and the tree. They got the guy at the tree. Yeah. <laughs> the dogs took after the man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's rich. <laughs> they got him up the tree. They got him up the tree. <laughs> well, the dogs must have been nuts. They must have been crazy, huh? No. With excitement. Maybe a little excitement there, yes, but. Uh, what did the guy go up the tree for? To get away from the dogs. Well, they were after him. Well, they were after the bear, and the bear came down the tree, and he, he went up the tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was that out there at Thin Mountain? Yeah. That's out in that area, huh? Yeah. And, uh, I called the dogs back there, said, come on. The deer was in, gone down to the lake, when it was a lake. The dog would be natural. And uh, there's a little Norwegian, a little bit of a fire. That wasn't Myron, was it? No. Oh, somebody else. And uh, he, uh, he uh, was going to get his, his deer. Yeah, it was a deer. And uh, he. Uh, he got in, the dog had the deer in the water, and uh, he wouldn't come across the lake. He, was, he had his dander up, he was going to fix the dog. He was going to fight the dog. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, so this, uh, he jumps in, got the hold of the deer, and I got between the two of them, they were just going out and stripped in the water in the. Looked but, like a wheel, huh? Yeah. So one was on the top once, and the other was on the top next. Yeah. And right around. <laughs> yeah? What was the outcome of that? Oh, well, I shot the bear. Oh, the deer. Uh, the deer. Yeah. yeah, you shot the deer, yeah. yeah. You didn't shoot the guy. You waited till he was on the bottom. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Oh, that must have been great hunting times, huh? You don't see things like that these days. Do you? No. Did you ever get one more than one bear at a time, or always just one bear? I got three bunch. Three at one hunting trip, huh? Yeah. 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 Mother and two cubs. No. No. One cub and two bear. Oh yeah. yeah. They weren't, they weren't together at all. The other than the cub were together, but the other one was alone. Mm -hmm. Do 
Well, you had quite a struggle with bears. I mean, it was either they ate or you ate, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and the common denominator was the cattle. Yeah. They would eat the cattle or you would eat the cattle. Yeah. Or you'd get the money to eat from the cattle. Yeah. yeah. One of my neighbors had seven eight cattle by the time. Mm -hmm. Bear gets a hold of an animal. They, 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 they just take what they want and they go out and eat it. Mm -hmm. Others come along and get the taste of it and they decide they're going to have some more. And they're there out in the field, so they go after them. Like out in the range. Yeah, they see them out there in the range and they yeah. go after them, yeah. We call those slow elk. Mm -hmm.